second. How are you? Doing great. Hey, I'd like to know a little bit about you and your life and your wife and just kind of tell us about how was it before Fast okay. Trip Tea? Yeah, sure. Uh, I met Heather 11 years ago and she always had some, some health ailments, um, but I actually, I didn't mind that. In fact, I was kind of like, oh, I'll get to take care of her and her needs. Um, and we got married 10 years ago. And as, as time went by, there were some things that I started noticing that her health got kind of worse and worse. And specifically after having kids, it was, it was super hard for us to get pregnant. Um, and then when we finally did, a really hard pregnancy, almost lost the baby numerous times. And then after having our first, she just was tired so much more. Um, every, I mean, she always had some neck and, and back issues, but it's like everything got worse. And I thought, oh, maybe it's because she's carrying the baby all the time. Maybe it's because of this or that. And we always had reasons. Um, we started at that point to go see a lot of different doctors. We saw acupuncturists. We saw orthopedic surgeons. We, we saw lots of different doctors try to figure out how do we fix her back and her neck. I remember her back would, um, would just go out at times, random times, so much so that they were pumping drugs into her at the ER and they could not move her from, from the, the gurney to, to the bed because she was just, it hurt so much. I, you know, helped to help her get out of cars and it was really, really tough at times. So, so for you, you're watching your wife and you could see that she's in pain. Oh, all the time. So how did that affect you? I mean, here it is, you have a child, you have a wife that's in pain. I think for, uh, for a time, I, I didn't let it affect me, and it was just kind of, this is life, and I'm just going to push through and, and keep going, but I think after a while, it, was, it could definitely wear on me. Um, I, I thought it was just because of having kids or getting older, but I, I actually kind of see now that I think a lot of me feeling exhausted and feeling older was, I had, you know, a wife that had a serious illnesses um, and they started becoming more real we started getting labels from doctors she has this now she has this now that um, up to speed we had our second our, our second daughter and, and after that it, it got worse um, this was about um, five and a half years ago and after Savannah was born um, sh her neck and and back were so bad that she ended up having to have surgery this is her second surgery that she'd had on it. Um, she had some things fused and she couldn't pick our daughter up, our second daughter, um, really for about the first six months of her life. And so I was picking her up, getting up at night with her, um, you know, doing the, the mom and, and the dad thing. And yet my wife was such a trooper. I mean, she's always strong, always, I'm going to do this, we're going to get through this. And um, so, yeah, I mean, I, that, that's kind of where, what it was after after our second child. Mm -hmm. um, from there, things started going more and more downhill where she was sick, more, more obvious sicknesses. We went to doctors after doctor after doctor, finally found a doctor who, who could figure out what, what we thought was wrong. And uh, she had Lyme disease, she had POTS, which is a heart condition. She had all these other things that through blood, not through just diagnoses, you know, medical, but she had all these issues, parasites and, I mean, weird things. And, uh, and so she started taking the drugs, started doing the alternative medicine, all the things we just said, we're just going to trust the doctors and we're just going to do it. And the doctor said, just to let you know, your health will get worse before it gets better. And so we knew that going into it. And about three years ago, it got so bad, um, she was going into liver failure. I mean, it was like, it was intense. There was one night where we were in the basement, she was coughing, she couldn't breathe very well, she was just exhausted. And um, I, I wasn't sure, this is the only time in my life that I've been married to her that I thought I could lose this girl. And I was, it, was, it was really intense. And um, so we got through that and it was just one thing to the next. This was months before coming and, uh, and actually going to, to the Faster AFT seminar, but for two years, she was on full disability. I mean, you know, some days just couldn't leave the house uh, throughout the week, I mean, multiple times at times. And um, so I was the husband. I did as much as I could. I mean, my wife still did a lot around the house, still did all that she could, but I was, I was taking care of a lot of things. And then obviously full-time work and 
Um, so it was, uh, it was, it was a heavy burden. I didn't realize it at the time. At the time, I just kind of was pushing through, and this is life, and believing she's going to get better. She's going to get better. And January of 2013, I finally got to a place where I said, you know what, maybe, maybe I'll just be at peace with her never getting better. And I always had this, no, she's going to get better, she's going to get better. And I, I finally had to get to a place where I thought, maybe I need to be at peace with that. And um, it was weeks later that she came to this, heard about faster EFT, she'd heard about EFT, looked it up, okay, I need to get better faster, this isn't working. She found faster EFT. Mm -hmm. and so, um, so when um, this EFT, you tried all the other therapies, mm -hmm. obviously she told you about EFT. Well, she, yeah, she, she told us, she brought me to a Starbucks, showed me the different tap this, tap that, and I said, okay, and she's like, I have a, a, a list this long of all the things I'm gonna have to tap out uh, with the traditional EFT. And I said, well, if you need a practitioner or whatever, you know, go for it. At this point, we had spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on her health out of pocket. Um, you know, not on, to on top of all the regular health stuff that we paid monthly and things like that. So at this point, we were just ready for anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially her. She was very, very desperate. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so she found faster EFT and uh, talked to a practitioner who said I can't really schedule you for the next week and a half I'm going to a training and so she said okay like would going to this training help teach me so that I can do it better and the practitioner said uh, if it's up to you if you want to go and so she went we really had no idea what faster EFT was really um, and I just said I support you Whatever you want to do, go for it. I'll take the kids for the week. And uh, so she came. She went to Oklahoma. And a day after she was there, you had tapped on her. And she, she sets up her computer. And me and the kids are sitting there Skyping her. And of course, she could barely, it, she almost didn't go because she couldn't walk very well You know when she went because her back was so out. And, she shows it and she starts doing yoga. <laughs> and we are just, I, I don't know, I didn't know what to say, I didn't know what to do. She's bending over, she's stretching, and she's happy. And uh, I, was, I was just so happy for her. And uh, knowing that when she came home, and she had told my girls, she said, when you come home, I'm going to be a new mommy. You know, I'm going to, and she just believed it. And, um, I wasn't sure, but I trusted her. And when she came home, she picked up our girls. She picked them up over her head. I mean, she couldn't even lift her arms up above her head. She could do about this before. And um, she picked them up and twirled them around and uh, gave me a big squeeze. And I felt like I, I have my wife. And, um, and what's crazy, is that she was, is better today, a year after going to, she is better, in fact, she was probably better after her first training, but she's better today than when I met her 11 years ago, and she'll say she's better today than she can remember, um, not just physically, but emotionally. So I'm so thankful. Mm -hmm. So then what? So now, this last year has been her journey of continuing to dig out all her past and all the traumas and all the different things. And uh, she's been helping other people left and right, uh, so many people just in our area even, uh, who have the physical, so, I mean, her, her bent was, I'm physically, I have issues physically. And so for her, this started out as, I'm going to fix you know, I'm going to let this fix me physically. And now she's realizing, oh, it's all emotional. Mm -hmm. And so uh, she's helping so many different people. She's tapped on me. I'm a, apparently a difficult person. I don't let it go. But I want to. That's why I'm here. You know, I, I want to figure this out. And uh, so her, her journey is continuing. I would love to be trained to be a practitioner. 
and, uh, and help other people. I feel like we work in the ministry, so we're helping people emotionally all the time. And I feel like, man, I want, I want to use whatever tool I can uh, to help other people and, of mm-hmm. course, help myself <laughs> get there. Yeah, so, so here it is. You know, obviously, your relationship must have changed somehow. Mm-hmm. I mean, not only... I mean, there had to be almost like here it is. You married her. You were a fixer. You want to take care of her. Mm-hmm. And now she's got the ability to take care of herself. Yeah. And then how does all this affect you, you know? I don't totally know yet. I know that it is still affecting me. And for the... Heather got home. I was super happy for her, super excited. And um, I think it was up until maybe the third training that she went to she just she said Kent I feel like you're not happy for me and I was like no I'm so I'm so happy for you of course I'm happy I I love this about you you're 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 better a better you than I could have imagined um but I now am realizing what she just said is that I'm I was so used to just taking care of her and feeling the need and probably feeling some benefits from being able to take care of this girl that was entrusted to me. And I I felt great about that. But I'm learning and needing to learn still Mm -hmm. that uh, it's okay for me to not have to take care of her. Mm -hmm. And I I will be able to provide for her and all the things that I want to do, but not that I have to. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm still learning that a so lot. So obviously, I would almost bet the relationship has been upgraded. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of benefits with a healthy wife. I'm learning more from her in the last year than probably, I, I mean, I've learned a ton from her. She had way more life experience than me. She's five and a half years older. I and mean, there's just so many other things she's gone through that I hadn't. But I'm, I feel like this... I'm so thankful for what I'm learning from her. And just her attitude, her heart, her, her care for people, the way that she looks at things. She, she looks at people and situations completely different. I mean, her and I would get into conversations about, oh yeah, man, I just, man, I wish these people would change this and, and think this way. And uh, so many of our, of our connections would be based on what I now realize as negative connections, that we're talking about something in a negative way. And she has just flipped that completely and helped me because a long time ago, when I was young, before I guess life hit or whatever, um, I, I always, I did look at the positive, the half full, and then somewhere along the line, 20, 20 something, I, I just started, I didn't realize it, but started to look at things half empty in, in, in a negative point of view. And she has, just through what she's done, helped me to flip myself around to start looking at everything in a encouraging wow look at what this person can be look at what this situation can be instead of what I feel like it is Mm -hmm. And, and, and looking at your children I mean here it is one day they had a mother who couldn't do much mm. couldn't pick them up couldn't care for them much so what's, what's the benefits now that you're... Can you see the difference in your children? Oh, yeah. I mean, my, my eldest especially, she loves being mommy's helper. And I think before, my wife, when she was doing anything, she just felt like, okay, I don't want the kids too close because they might jump on me and hurt. And I mean, now they're, you know, they're playing. They're, my wife's on the floor with them, rolling around, doing things. And, but there is a connection that I can, and they're girls, you know, they want their mommy, they want their daddy too, but they want their mommy to to teach them, to show them, to, Mm -hmm. and so Cadence, our oldest, is, she just can't wait to spend time and to learn, how do I do this in the kitchen, mommy? How do I, she just wants to be like her mom uh, so much, and and Savannah, she's the one that always wants to be played with, always, and she just sucks up that, that attention, that, that, that playfulness that my wife can now give. Um, and I have always trusted my wife. I always give her the benefit of the doubt. But now I can say that I, I trust her so much further and, and so much more that I know she is going to, whatever she does with the girls, it's going to make them better than they ever could have been. 
Uh, and, and I do believe that that is because of her mind change in, in all of this process. So you witness these changes, and a lot of people will say, you know, they see Heather today. Yeah. They say, you couldn't have been really sick. Sure. You, you really can't be. It's impossible you were really sick. What, do you, what would you say about that? Well, a lot of people did say that even before. Doctors, we see your, your, we see your, your MRIs, we see, your, and it's not that bad, or it's bulged, your discs are bulged, but not, I mean, so, she felt like she was crazy numerous times and would tell me that, and I said, I believe you, <laughs> you know, I know. Um, today, people who know her, uh, they do feel like it is a miracle that she has changed. Um, and I think now, uh, when she explains that it wasn't just, I went somewhere and now my back feels better, but when she explains that it's emotional stuff, that it's all these things that were in her head that she felt and thought from her past, it, it's helping to unlock for even those people who are a little bit like, okay, how sick were you? you know. But, uh, but the doctors, I mean, specifically the doctor that we were seeing most recently, she's sending people to Heather as a practitioner, go, go talk to Heather, you know, someone that wouldn't leave their house except for a doctor's appointment. Go see Heather. And now she's out, she came to a training, she, you know, I mean, just so many different things. So doctors are entrusting their patients to, to her and seeing, okay, there's a difference here. Because they knew, some of the doctors really knew she was very ill, but they couldn't, you know, point their finger as to how to help it. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Hmm. So what would you tell somebody out there who's, who's ill or has a loved one who's ill, what would you tell them about this? What would you say? Come see my wife. <laughs> um, I, I would say that that kind of stuff happens. I mean, it, death, sickness, whatever, hardship, even things that aren't emotional traumas, like you f fell off of something and broke your whatever, um, it's all in the way you, you look at it. You know, what, what's your perspective of, of life? What's your persp and, and it can be terrible, and you can take all these things. And I did that. I mean, I started to do that. I started to take all the things and feel like it was the situation I'm in. That's why things aren't as good as they can be. If we lived here, if we did this, if I didn't have this responsibility on me, if this person was if, 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 instead of if me, if I, change this, then my surroundings will change. And Faster EFT is, I'd say, the biggest tool that I know of to help with that mind change, that tool to get your mind to change the way you view things. Mm -hmm. Robert, I know I've, I've told you thank you before, but I do want to say thank you, thank you so much for not just giving me my wife back, but giving me her better than before. I do feel like you are a utensil that God has used and I'm so thankful that he was able to use you to help my wife get to where she needs to be um, in a better place than, than, I, than I really think I could have imagined uh, after all the sickness that she was in. So I just want to say thank you a lot.